What's up, party people? Android Stud here. Chilling in the backyard, South Florida day. Just want to talk some phones. I know everybody's been talking about the Poco X2. Been talking about the uh, Samsung Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra. There's been a little bit of momentum with the Samsung A51 and A71. Look like some good devices for mid-range or budget uh, conscious class. But I just wanted to kind of go over what's going on, what's happening. I know I sent out a tweet about a month ago or maybe less talking about what's coming up in February, what's coming up in March, what's coming up in April. I uh, haven't even touched on the OnePlus 8 uh, Plus or whatever it's going to be called. Um, this is the Mi 9T Pro, uh, which is a phenomenal device. Let me put the brightness up here so you guys can see the goodness that it is um have the pixel 3 on deck this is my daily driver the pixel 4 xl went to the wife gave her that phone i've been using the pixel 3 i'm not sure what i'm going to jump to next um this is the poco f1 the original beast Got the red skin on there, but it's a blue phone running the latest software on this bad boy. But I don't know. What do you guys think about the Poco X2? I know it's got the Snapdragon 730. It looks like exactly like the K30, the Redmi K30. Um, I know there was a lot of talk about the Poco phone uh, X2 that it doesn't have the Snapdragon 865, which probably wasn't going to happen before Samsung dropped their flagship S20, S20 line. It probably wasn't going to happen. So I don't know why people were thinking that that was going to happen. Um, but the 865, I tweeted out the other day a story from, I forget what website, but they talked about um, how the 865 costs a lot more money uh, this time around versus the 845 when the Poco had the 845 Snapdragon it was kind of like it blew everybody away how can you charge so little for a phone and it has such a great processor uh, but this time around they didn't do that they went with the 730 which you know the A71 has a 730 the X2 has the 730 it's not a bad chipset it's just not the creme de la creme that everybody says uh, about the snapdragons with 865 because you have the you know the flexibility of 5g with that snapdragon uh chipset now i don't know um i would have preferred a poco with an eight uh, snapdragon 855 plus or even 865 but that wasn't a reality i'm not sure if poco later on this year releases and maybe an x2 pro um not sure what they're gonna do uh not sure what poco is gonna do i know that the poco phone f1 was absolutely a phenomenal phone had the snapdragon uh a45 um you know it's got updated to android 10 the latest and greatest now the mi 9t pro which has the snapdragon a55 is an absolute stunning device got the bezel of design it has the uh front-facing camera there that pops up like the oneplus 7 pro there as you can see um so it's got a lot of good uh things about it uh, it's got the wide angle on here so if you want to take some nice wide, wide angle shots here in the backyard like this boom boom you know the only thing about these two phones is the camera is not as stunning as the Pixel 3 or Pixel 4. Let's take a little selfie. Um, that you have, you know, just this. The Pixel phones are king when it comes to photos. Um, that's why this is my everyday, everyday driver. I like the size of the Pixel 3. Um, for me, it's just, and then plus the Pixel 3, the thing I like about it is you have that wide angle. And then you can do that portrait wide angle let's get it but i just love this this phone because of the wide angle you can get that wide angle camera here portrait and also the rear the rear cameras are good yeah it doesn't have the um it doesn't have the wide angle rear which i do miss um it's nice to have the wide angle but 
I can live life. It's not like I'm depressed at home because I don't have a wide angle on my Pixel 3. Um, but look, the S20 looks like it's going to be an amazing phone. Uh, S20 Plus, S20 Ultra, just too expensive for me. Um, there's a lot of people that are going to get it. Hey, Maita. Hey, I'm doing a video here. Thank you. Um, the uh, She sees some animals across the uh, lake, so she's going crazy. But, you know, the prices on those, a lot of people are going to buy it anyway. Uh, that's their money. Hey, if you if you love tech and you don't care, then, hey, man, I respect that. Um, I personally wouldn't buy it because I just think the iPhones are too much, the Google phones, even the Pixel 3 and the Pixel 4, 4XL, when they came out, they were just too much money, man. Uh, these phones are too expensive. When you could pick up the Mi 9 T Pro, when it came out, was under 400 Obviously, the Poco phone was uh 300 350 uh you get the you can get the samsung a71 for about 450 the a51 for about 300 350 um you know there's just a lot of budget phones uh even the one plus 7t you can get for 499 and it has the snapdragon a55 plus in it um even the one plus 7 pro dropped to 499 around that around black friday or christmas time i forget when it was but that's an excellent device so uh, you have to you take those things in consideration, but I'm not sure, man, about the Poco Phone X2. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it. You guys, let me down. Let me let me know down in the comments if you want me to get the Poco X2, um, or if you want me to wait for the Mi uh, 10 Pro, and let me know what I should get next, or even do you want me to go Samsung and get the A71? Let me know. I just wanted to jump on here, do a little video for you guys out here in the backyard, chilling like a villain on penicillin. I love you guys. I love you, party people. Keep it locked right here on Android Stud. Peace.